Hello, I'm Sean Bordner. I'm John Stover. We're at a hospital today with a very unfortunate patient. I'd like you to meet Mr. SharePoint Project. Now, Mr. SharePoint Project is clearly suffering from some form of catastrophic failure. Let's get to the bottom of this. What's that? Poor user adoption? Huh? Little to no post-launch support or understanding? Stay with us, buddy. What? Excessive modifications and totally unorganized and unmet deadlines. Mr. SharePoint Project clearly needs some help. What do you recommend, John? Well, this happens a lot. Sean and I and uh, our team get called in a lot where a SharePoint project's going along just fine, and then all of a sudden, just like Mr. SharePoint Project, we lose a lot of the critical signs, we lose project momentum, no users are using the system, and the project just fails. Well, there are some things that you can do to prevent that. First and foremost, identify some critical success factors for your projects. A lot of times we get a call saying, hey, we need you to come in and install SharePoint, we need to get SharePoint up and running. Well, that's great, but there are hundreds of different things that you can use SharePoint for. So what exactly are you trying to do? What are the business objectives? What are you trying to accomplish with your solution? In addition to that, you don't have to do everything at once. SharePoint's a broad platform that lets you do internet sites, social network sites, community initiatives, intranets. To try to accomplish all of that in one round is a lot to accomplish. Pick some high visibility projects, accomplish those, get buy-in from the executive team, from the executive sponsors, and do the initiative in an iterative methodology. Finally, plan some rollout strategies. You know, just standing up a SharePoint site and telling all of your users, here it is, isn't going to work. Encourage people to uh, use the site, plan on how you're going to roll the content in, how you're going to apply taxonomies, how you're going to apply the findability, uh, the search engine uh, tools internally. And finally, educate your project team on the SharePoint platform. A lot of times I've worked with some very good .NET developers that didn't know SharePoint. And they immediately start implementing a SharePoint project by writing custom code that many times SharePoint already had that functionality out of the box. So from the developers to the administrators and even to the end users, educate the SharePoint team, both the implementation team and your end users, and that will help ensure a successful project. All right. Well, thanks a lot, John. We better get this guy into the hospital. Till next week, guys, this is Sean Bordner. John Stover. And this video is from the weekly videos from the sub.org. Every week we do a new video, so we'll see you next week. Let's get him in there.